Hi, welcome to part two of my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. We last ended off, it was, we made it to the end of Viridian Forest, so now we're ready to continue. To leave the end of Viridian Forest. Way out, it's just the rest of Route 2, so all the encounters are the same as Route 2. But I didn't bring up the encounters Route 2, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just, uh... Pidgey, Rattata, Weedle, and Caterpie. That's all that there is over there. All healed up. But I have yet to catch... Um, Rattata and Pidgey. I'm still not positive I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try to complete the Pokedex. But I'm still... I might. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything caught that I need caught as we play. I'll try to catch things as we go instead of backtracking like this in the future, but I just need these two because I wasn't sure I was going to do this yet or not. <laughs> there we go. Pidgey's caught. Don't need a nickname. Okay, now we just need Ratatata. There's a Ratatata. Easy peasy. Back to back, the correct encounter. Go to bag. And go to Pokeball. There we go. No nickname. Now we're ready to keep going. I did miss Pikachu, but I think I'll just get that later, because that's a pretty low encounter rate. Not really much to do here. This is the Mart. Like usual. I've got a few Pokeballs. I'm at four, so I want to buy six. Get even ten. I got eight potions, plenty of potions. Two and it should be enough. We'll get one more. Paralyze. We shouldn't need awakenings or burn heals yet. Well, I'll grab one. Awakening. That's all we need. Up here is the museum. You don't like get anything out of going in there. All you do is lose money to pay to get in. So it's not really worth going. Unless I remember something later that I forgot about. I believe over here somewhere. Somewhere around here. There, it was a Pokeball. I remember there was a hidden item there. I just didn't remember it was a Pokeball. I would have got I would have bought one less Pokeball if I remembered that was a Pokeball. But oh well. Talk to this guy. Pretty much explains what the gyms are, kinda. He wants to know if we want him to take us to the top, so I guess so. Pretty much just tells us like random tips, like the first Pokemon in your party is the first one that gets sent out. Changing the order will help against different Pokemon and whatever. Hey, over here we just found uh, a Pikachu. Pretty sure that hey was a little too loud, but we found Pikachu. Now that's a weird cut from leaving the gym to encountering a Pikachu, but I wanted to go ahead and get it now. <clears throat> Sorry. Of course we got paralyzed, but oh well. I'm ready to knock it out again with Isley, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use Caterpie if that's possible. It's just looking like it's gonna be a little difficult, apparently. 
I'm sure we'll be fine. Or not. Come on, Caterpie. Wow. Okay, that should be catching range. Go in and toss a ball. There we go. First ball. I actually will be adding Pikachu to my team. Normally I try to not use a grass type and electric type when I play casually, but I think I can make it work. Like, space wise. So let's go ahead and give her, her a nickname. I haven't really thought about it, so I'll have to think of something. Okay, I think I'll go with the nickname Leslie. It's a bit more ex obscure, but if you get it, awesome. And if you don't get it, I don't blame you. Let me just make sure I spelled that right really quick. Yep, all good in the hood. So let's, uh, go. I guess. Okay, back computer, and we're ready to continue. Still haven't thought of any reason to go to the museum, so we're gonna continue to skip it for now. If you don't get uh, Pikachu's nickname, it, the hint is it's kind of related to Isley's name, in a way. But first things first, let's do some trainer battles in the gym. And by trainer battles, I mean a trainer battle. Starts off with a Gia dude. Send out Leslie first for some switch training. Obviously, she can't do anything against a Gia dude. Or she can, this won't be very effective. Oh wait, nope. She has Thunder Shock, not Tackle. So yeah, she just can't do anything. Defense Scroll isn't going to do anything because Vine Whip's special. Because in these games, physical special is based on the type as a whole instead of the individual moves like it is Gen 4 and onward. Almost level 13. Let's switch to Leslie. Hopefully there's no hitting scratch. Hopefully she can live that. There she goes. Oh, and she got the paralysis. That's cool. And obviously switch back to Isley. Same attack, of course. Lame. Hopefully we can just land this first try. Yep. Oh, not enough to kill though. Oh well. Another same attack. So now we're gonna start missing over and over again, probably. Oh no! Isley landed both. Awesome. Leslie gets to five. I am now realizing Leslie and Isley are way too similar sounding. So we won't be able to fix that until Lavender Town, but oh well. Not oh well, that's gonna be annoying. Um let me check something really quick. For now we're gonna call Pikachu Willis instead of Leslie because it sounds way too similar to Isley so Willis it is I think it's pronounced Willis I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Willis we will need to heal this battle should be pretty easy probably should have read his text since it's an important battle but oh well Gym Leader Brock is who we're battling. Starts off with the Geo dude. So we'll start off with Willis. I feel like that pronunciation is wrong, but I don't know how else you would pronounce it. It's, uh, yep, W I L L I S. I'm pretty sure that's Willis. Sorry. Uh, not really important, but I just wanted to see. Read it again. 
I don't, I don't know how else to pronounce other than Will, so all well. Take a Geodude in one hit, obviously. No level for Willis, but all well. I think it'd be too dangerous to switch. If Onyx attacks, Willis will die. So I think I'm just going to stay in and not lower the friendship. Well, friendship doesn't really matter. Uh, let me try. Oh, that's bad. She probably would have lived that without the crit, but then she wouldn't have been able to switch back out to Isley, so it would have been bad no matter what. Oh well. P Pikachu is in a friendship evolution. It's Thunderstone, so it doesn't really matter. If it was a Pichu, that'd be a problem, but it's not. I will be evolving Pikachu though, because Raichu is one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm not sure why, it's just, it always has been. It's kind of annoying as a female. Normally I don't care about Pokemon gender, but I don't like how. Obviously, it doesn't matter in this game, but once we transfer our teams up as we go along through the games, uh, eventually Raichu will have a rounded tail, which I think is dumb. Not even around a tail, it's just like a cut tail, which I think is dumb looking. But oh well. He'll they'll still be Willis. Will Willis. I yeah, I'm gonna stop trying to think of a way to pronounce that differently. It's definitely Willis. And if it's not, I'm gonna look like a total idiot. But anyway. We should definitely heal first since Willis fainted, but instead, I am clearly lazily, lazy, not lazily. So instead, I'm going to be getting our running shoes first. They're a gift from our mom, and now we can run really fast. Awesome. Running is really fast in this game for some reason. Like, I'm convinced it's just as fast as riding the bike. I'm probably wrong about that, but it definitely seems that way to me. Okay, all done. How much money do we get? Can I buy a repel or two? Definitely can. How can we buy? Five? I don't think we need five. I'll go with three... Let me grab an extra awakening. Because there is a Jigglypuff and a Clefairy coming up, trainer battle wise, and those are pretty annoying to deal with. But now we're finally ready to progress. First up here is this lady. Last Janus. She has two Pidgeys. They're level 9, but I think Willis can handle them on her own. So let's try. Oh, already faster. That's a good sign. Not only really saying months, this is just a Pidgey, but you know. Take your wins where you can get them. That's not how the saying goes, but I don't remember things. Okay, those tackles look like they're doing about like six or so. So a crit from the next Pidgey will definitely kill, but let's see if we can handle it. Let's see if we can avoid the crit. Still faster. Ooh, I didn't do as much as last time. Gus, that's gonna be not very effective, but it's still okay, it did four, so another tackle will kill. But maybe we can get the range? Not quite. Oh, bummer. We're not having great luck with Willis. I guess we'll have to finish it off with Icely.
Okay, now we're ready to continue along. He says he saw us in the Verdian Forest, but he definitely didn't. We never fought a bug catcher, Colton. And I'm pretty sure there's no just passerby bug catchers in the forest. I think you battle all the bug catchers. But anyway, let's see if we can handle oh, okay. Caterpie. I'm sure she can, but you never know. This is not a Weedle, so we don't have to worry about uh, poison damage. But he is going to get off a slingshot, so we have to deal with that. Yep, we're slower now. Bit of a bummer, but Willis can still handle it. Ooh, we got pretty low, so probably not the switch too easily for the next fight. Hey! Willis is level 8. Hey, Thunder Wave! Awesome! Hmm. I'll stay in until the poison sting. Now we'll get lucky and we'll just spam string shot, which won't matter because we're already slower. He's just gonna keep string shotting. Doesn't going it's not gonna do anything because we're already slower. One more thunder shock. He goes for another string shot. Weird. And there goes the Weedle. Almost another level up with Willis, but not quite. Um Nah, no. This is going to go right for the tackle. Hey, that did 5 damage, so no matter what, it kills next hit. So let's go ahead and switch to Isley. Yeah, Isley missed like two tackles in a row, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, he took care of the Caterpie. And we beat Bugcatcher Colton. Okay, let's keep making our way by battling this guy. He likes shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. I don't like shorts. I don't like showing my legs. I don't know why, but I just don't. Starts off with a brat tata. I don't think Willis can handle this. I should say I believe in you, but oh my god, that did a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, stab quick attacks aren't very great, aren't very easy to deal with this early in the game. So well, well. Isley could for sure handle it. I keep almost going for tackle, so I'm gonna switch Vine Whip up front. You can do that by hitting select on a move. You can then change where it is. That's how you do that. Saying all that, but now I need to go for a tackle to save some PP. And there goes Red Tata. Willis is up to level 9 now. That's good. Isley's almost at level 15. I'm gonna leech see this, because... Can't switch to... Willis without her fainting. And our attack just got cut in half. So let's just go with... You know, leech seed to help chip away. Let's get the spam tackle. Hey, 
Okay, that took quite a while, but uh, I easily made it through eventually. And now he's level 15, awesome. One more level to go. He can learn Poison Powder. I believe he learns Poison Powder and Sleep Powder all at the same time. Yep. You know, I think I'm just gonna get rid of Poison Powder already, because Leech Seed is just pretty much Poison Powder with better accuracy, and it heals you. The only difference is Poison Powder will stay if the opponent switches out, and Leech Seed will disappear, but in-game trainers don't really switch much anyway, so I don't think it really is that important. So let's go ahead and get rid of Poison Powder. Now we're done battling Youngster Ben. He can't believe it. He just can't believe it. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. We didn't get much done, but we did add a new team member and defeat the first gym leader. So at least we got some things done. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!